Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Facebook and to this whole wide world. This whole big old beautiful world is so beautiful. And when you look around and see the creation of God himself, how he created everything and how he made it. And you'll be seeing the, the flowers uh, uh, out pretty soon and the farmers uh, getting the ground ready, tilling the ground, getting it ready to get that fruit and vegetables for we can eat. We got to understand that it's a big operation going on while we sleeping in slender. That's why I'm up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning praying over our border, praying over the people, praying over our lives. Come on, praying over this world so we can keep this God in tune with us and keep the trick of the enemy out of the way because the devil is busy. The Bible said it had been, when it, you know it's getting to the end, when men become lovers of themselves, you have rumors of wars. The politics is all the place. Prejudice is on the ride. Chaos is on the ride. People don't get along. Relationships is bad. Husband is leaving wives. Wives is leaving husbands, walking away from their children. Church members is divorcing rapidly. More people is in church having sex than out in the world because we have took the Bible and just made it something social just to do is not to change. And in half of the people that's going to church, that go to church every Sunday, will not confess that they are a Christian. If you ask them what they to do, what they do in their lives, the first thing they will not say that I am a Christian. I'm a born, washed again Christian. Come on, somebody, because we get to be afraid to say that. And I think it's because who you're hanging around. And I tell people all the time, if you want to lose weight, you don't have to tell nobody, girl, I'm losing weight. All you have to do is be around them. They'll start seeing, girl, you looking good. You're losing weight. People will tell you because people are watching you more than you watching yourself. Oh, that's good right there. That's good. And, and what we're talking about today on this Winning Wednesday, this is Winning Wednesday. Win your joy back. You haven't been happy since 2022. My God. The last time you was happy in 2022, you haven't been happy even through going into 23, and you know it haven't been that long, but you haven't been happy. When they changed from 22 to 23, you haven't been happy none going into 23. You've been on the same pace that you've been on at 22. you still chasing that raggedy man. you still chasing that raggedy woman. Come on. you still at that job that ain't paying you nothing. Come on. God is telling you to launch out. Come on. I want you to win. Whatever you do, I want you to win in your relationship. I want you to win at your job. Come on. Some of us are going to be doing the same thing. Spring is coming right now. Ask yourself, are you doing better this spring than you was last spring? Come on. Think about it. You get on you because that's the best person that you need to get on. You don't need to look at nobody around. Uh, my mama wasn't there. My daddy wasn't there. We all know that now. But after 12 years old, you came to make a decision. You can make decisions. Jesus Christ was talking to theologians and doctors and lawyers at 12 years old. That means that God gave the same ability to everybody that's 12, if they're in their right mind, nothing's wrong, to may be able to make good choices if they're raised right. Come on. And you start off being a good person without even knowing the Bible. The Bible have to be hidden in your heart now anyway because they're trying to take the Bible off the market. And if there's no Bibles, you have to be able to be able to know the Bible without the Bible, if it make any sense. Well, today we're talking about how Christians go to church, but nobody is saying they're a Christian because that's a level above just going to church because we have a lot of people, which you guys know what I'm talking about, that's going to church that have no intentions to get further with God. Come on. I've been pastoring over a decade now, and I know some people just won't get it. That's why Jesus Christ, God himself, made people to be believers, not to be understanders, because we're not going to understand everything about God. I don't care how intelligent you is. God will take you somewhere you can't even fathom. Let me read this in your hearing. It said, what makes you afraid? It is it the environment you are around? It is not about going around telling people that see, I am a Christian. Look, I am a Christian. You have to start living as a Christian. 
right there. You have to start living as a Christian. Not just going to church. You have to show that you're changing. And a lot of people do that little Sunday service for a couple hours and go home and nobody see you change. Your house is not changing. You're not changing. You left the church after doing praise and worship. You're the praise and worship leader. And you left the church, went home, and started saying every bad cuss word you can out of your mouth. And telling your husband and your husband telling you and y'all talking in front of your children who you don't like in the church. Come on, certain things don't need to be talked about in front of sponges, which is our children, because they're going to grow up being hypocrites because they're watching you be a hypocrite. There should be nothing negative coming out of your mouth if you turn into a Christian. Uh, you're, God having the renewing of the mind. It's so much to this, and you can't preach it. And this is why I'm on every day. You can't preach this to an to a, 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 a audience every Sunday and expect them to get it. That's why Jesus Christ was close to people. He played kickball with the kids. He put his arms around men and tell them how to be good husbands. He put his arms around women and told them how to be good wives. That's what the Bible is based up on, people. Being a good person and not being ashamed of Jesus Christ. And, then where, and let me tell you what it says by scripture. You can quote me. He said, if you be ashamed of me, I'm going to be ashamed of you when you face my father. So when you die, that means that Jesus Christ is going to turn his back. I don't know you. Come on. So it said, don't be ashamed. If you're a Christian, you have to say you're a Christian and operate, or you don't even have to say it. It's saying you don't have to say you're a Christian. People will know. Come on, I've been wearing dress clothes all my life. When I was in those streets selling dope, they was calling me pimple dyes, slicky, uh, uh, OD, overdose. They would call me every name. But then when I changed my life, people was coming up saying, you must be a, a pastor. You must be this. You must be that. It's because they can feel and see the difference. Come on. When I go into Walmart, now nah, I ain't going in there to steal nothing. I'm going in there to get what I got to get and, and talk to people about the goodness of God, if that make any sense, on this winning Wednesday. This is winning Wednesday. Come on. It's time for you to get your joy back. It's time for you to win. It's time for you to love what you're doing in your own life. Come on. And if you're going to church every Sunday, Come on, you need to go in there with an ideal that you want to change your life. Not for me in this funny looking tie, it's for you in your life. And what that do, that a snowball affect your life. Come on, people. It's all about you and not being ashamed of Jesus Christ, God himself, if that makes sense on this winning Wednesday. I want you to win this week. I want you to win this month. I want you to win this year. So your life can change. And the only way that's going to do, you've got to include God in your life. I don't care if you're moving. I don't care if you're getting a new job, getting in a new relationship. Come on. I own the basketball team, own the football team. I don't care what you're doing, studying, going to college, going to cosmopolitan school, and getting your hair done. I don't know what you're going to do, but I know you have to put God in your life to make it work, if that makes any sense. Well, I love you guys on just a little quick, hot, short word for this winning Wednesday, win your joy. And listen, don't be ashamed to know that you're a Christian in yourself. And then if you know that in yourself, it'll show out from the outside and you don't have to say nothing. I love you all. Be blessed.